All right, everybody, how are we doing? Good morning. Right now, we are in the outskirts of Kuala Lumpur. Today, we are with B and Chong, our Malaysian Chinese parents, and they are taking us out on a day trip. I have no idea where we're going, but I think it's going to be good. Let's do it. <laughs> first of all, we're going to get some breakfast, so we're going to head into this spot here for our first time eating clay pop. It looks really busy. It's 7 a.m. That is a good sign. This place looks good. Right everyone, this spot looks really good. Check it out in here, it's massive and it's pretty busy for 7 a.m. The kitchens over here were... I'm just going to take a quick peek. Hello, how are you? Here is where they are cooking the um, clay pots, look at that. They look pretty hot, don't they? They look delicious. So, an interesting thing about this is, as soon as you come in, this lady comes up to you with this little box of Chinese tea. And I have no idea what they are, it's a lucky dip. But they're all in really nice bags, so you pick one of these to drink throughout your meal. So I don't know what we picked, but you pick your tea, then you come over here, you get your teapot, and you use this communal kettle to um, like tip and fill your tea up, which is just constantly on heat because everyone in here is drinking tea. Now, the food has all actually come, and it looks so good. So we've got a plate of rice each, some little chilies, Leisha's got some garlic over there, let's see that. Look at that, a nice plate of garlic. And then what have we got? So this is pork. Yeah. Pork. Oh, so we've got a dry pork clay pot. Look at that, that looks so good. And we got some cabbage, and is that garlic? Or is it shallot? I don't know. And then we got another clay pot, a soup clay pot. And here it is, tofu. So that looks really good to see, look at that. Oh, tofu and pork. Yeah. Oh, wow. It smells so good, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it smells, smells well good. good. So this is back cut te. We've never had this before, first time. Excited to try it. All right, let's give this a go then. It looks fantastic. So first we'll try that pork dish. This one here. We'll get a big piece of the pork. Some garlic, chili, rice. That looks really good. Mm. That's well good. The fresh chilies are really hot. And the fresh garlic, you can't beat it. How is it? It's so good. The pork is so tender. Like, look at this piece of pork. It's so soft. It's been cooking in that clay. It's really delicious. It literally melts in your mouth. Them chilies are hot. I love them. Fresh chilies. Mm. And then we've also got fried bread. A plate of fried bread here. Which we eat with a soup version, I think. So, can we dip? So, we'll try that, we'll give that a dip. I don't really know what I'm doing. That's really good. Fresh, crispy fried bread. It really soaks up the broth in there. Next, we'll try the soup. Clay pot. So we'll get a bit of that pork. Look at that. Wow, that's a massive piece of pork. Let's try and get a smaller piece. So pour that over our raft. And we'll get some of the tofu as well. There we go. Look at that. That looks well good. Let's give that a little try. Let's get some pork and tofu if I can. Oh, there we go. Mm. Mm. That's delicious, it's got that Chinese spice taste. Oh, I found it tastes really good though. This is well good. So this is really cool. We're actually getting a soup top up. Just there, look at that. So when you're running low, you can just get a free refill. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I really like it in here. It's a proper good atmosphere. If you look around, there's so many people in. Sunday morning, everyone's drinking tea, eating with that friendly friends and family. Really good. So you actually throw all that fried bread into the soup. That is how you eat it. Now look at the pork in there, seriously. That is good pork. The fried bread is absolutely fantastic. When it's been in that broth, sitting and absorbed, all that delicious, like, fire spice tasting broth. 
Mm. So fried bread's fresh, it smells crunch. And then that pork is absolutely fantastic. So soft. We've also got, I thought this was an omelette, but it's actually soybean. Almost like flat tofu, we'll say. Like, that. like soybean sheets. Really interesting. So look at that, it's super, super thin. It's actually pretty good, especially when it's been in that broth. You know your pork is good when you can cut it with a spoon. Literally, no effort. This is seriously good. This is good pork. Look at that. Pork is love, pork is life. Give me pork, give me rice. Oh man. Oh. They're on it. Anytime you're with any Chinese person, they will be filling your tea up non stop. They're like, they're on it. It's really good that tea. Tea's good, isn't it? Yeah, sure. yeah, it's perfect. It goes perfect in the morning. Chinese tea is, it is good, you know. It is good. So looking around, everybody just orders two, three, four of these big clay pots, puts them in the middle of the table, and everyone just shares. It's really nice. Oh, another tea refill. Oh, cheers, cheers. <laughs> really, really good, that food. Really good little experience, and this young lad the wear is really nice. And the people in here are really nice. Okay, thank you. Really, really good, that spot. We've also grabbed few bottles of soy milk, sweet soy milk to take away, we'll try those in a minute. But I've just got to say, I didn't know, this area, apparently very well known for these delicious Chinese clay pots, some of the very best you can get here in the Klang area, so there's the spot. As always, I throw these places in the description. And yeah, really good. Very happy with that, so let's get the day kicked off. All right, we're back in the truck now. We're on our way to the next spot of the day. Here we are. Yeah. Welcome yeah, to yeah. Jenjarom. Uh, yeah. We're here? Yeah. Okay, here we are, Jenjarom town. Yeah. Right, let's try that soy milk that we got at the backward taste spot. So here we go, a fresh homemade soybean drink. Got some dancing beans on there. 100% black bean. Go on, Leash, crack her open. Still cold. It smells like beans. Oh, it's sweet. Good. Really sweet, yeah. Mm. That's good. That's really good, actually. Really fresh. It smells good. You know what? That's actually really good. Mm. Not overly sweet. It is sweet, but it's not like like a, a sickly kiddie drink. Yeah, it's quite good, fresh. Not bad, is it? It's quite good actually. All right, we've come to Fokwang San Temple here in Jinjarom Town. It's like an hour out of Central Kale. So we're going to go and explore this place. It looks pretty big. It's really beautiful. First impressions. We've got some terrapins down here in the water. Loads of fish. And yeah, I think this is a really popular place for the, the Chinese population to come and visit. Look how nice it is. Yeah, there we go, we've got the bell, look. Ooh. I know, it's really nice, isn't it? So we're going to have a wander around, but first impression is super green and chilled, apart from my mate over there with the power tools. Wherever we go in the world, someone follows us with a power tool, I'm telling you. Oh, they came and ate the fish? Oh, really? Oh, really? When you let this thing in, just like we do our through cleaning. Oh, monitor lizards, right? Pests. They've come and messed the whole place up. Oh, so just a few fish left that got spared the lizards. Oh, you are feeding them? Too many monitor lizards. Yeah, eating all the fish. Yeah, yeah. These used to be completely full of fish. Hundreds, and now there's just like 20 left. Because the monitor lizards ate them all. So I'm um, bringing them back up. 
this monitor lah. Uh, they just lie around here only. They never go out. Oh, they just <laughs> they just stay the here. One. Oh, okay, <laughs> like okay. The shade outside there. The dog wants to say to yeah, stay here. Day. Yeah, they. <laughs> if, if me also, I won't be going away. <laughs> <laughs> so the chap we were just talking to, he said sorry for the inconvenience because there's no fish in the pond. <laughs> How cute is that? I was like, it's alright, don't worry. It's not an inconvenience. <laughs> I wasn't happy about them monitors. I could tell you what, I could, I could see the tears he was holding back. It was very expensive. He's got to buy some new fish now <laughs> for that bloody pond. What a beautiful little place. Fu Guang San Temple, Chinese temple. Now let me tell you about Jinjaron. This town is 95% Hokkien Chinese and people obviously here speak Hokkien Chinese dialect. Really cool little place, so we're going to have a wander around. Right, check this out, how cool is this? We've got Buddha archways going all the way down here, look at this. Really cool. So we're going to head down here and we'll see what's going on. I think this is a very popular place for Chinese tourists, local Chinese people as well, to come and visit. We've come across a bit of an exercise area in here. Can somebody tell me what this is? It looks like a torture device, a prehistoric torture device. I don't know what this is. It hinges like this. What is that? Someone tell me what exercise that is. Am I being silly? So there's a few really cute deer in here and we really wanted to feed them. So we asked this chap who works here and he's kindly said he's gonna cut us some leaves off to feed the deer. He said we're not meant to feed them in it because they're getting a bit unhealthy. I don't know what that means. So someone been giving them burgers or something. Okay, cheers, cheers. There we go, we've got a big bunch of leaves to try and feed the deer. Oh, they're looking there. They know, they know we're coming. They're at the gate. Hungry hmm? They stood to attention now. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, look how cute they are. Oh, cheers, cheers, thank you. Oh, they are cute, aren't they? I think they are the male one, I think, 10 over years. Okay. The second generation. Oh. They look hungry, we will try. Okay, thank okay. you. Where are you from? From England. Oh, from England. Yes. You from here? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's very beautiful here. Yeah, we are trying to keep it as. Yes, it's very nice. It's nice. Yeah, very nice. Peaceful. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So Let's much. try and feed them. Okay. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh, they want the food. Look, straight over. They're a bit. They're a bit nervous, though. Hey, don't. Nothing to be scared about. Nothing to be scared about. Let's try and feed the deer. Let's give them some leaves. Come on. Come on, don't be scared. Don't be scared of the foreigners. Hey, hey. Oh, at least they're going straight for yours. Oh. oh, this is going to be a challenge. Come on, everyone. Come on. Go on. Tell them, tell them. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, he snatched it. Oh, oh. He bit my fingers. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Big daddy with the horns. Let's get you some more. Eh? Right, my mate. No, no, don't be scared of us. You can have it, little miss. You're cute, aren't you? No, it's for the little one. All right, you can have one more. Is it good? Sit up. Ah, you like you to feed? Yeah. Put your hand through here. Oh, that's a big one. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, look. He's oh, hungry. We'll try and feed the big man. Come on, mate. Come on. Come on. Oh, you've scared them off. They're scared. Guys. We have to be quiet. Guys. There you go. go. Oh, come on, mate. Oh. Guys. What have you done to them? Guys. <laughs> Get some leaves. 
Look at this. Ooh, this is your nasty caribou, isn't it? Oh yeah. You like it? Oh, what's that taste like? Oh, there you go. Delicious, isn't it? Crikey, look at the size of this leaf. It's like two of my heads. Who's gonna get this? Which one are you? Lucky sod is gonna get this leaf. Go on, you know you want it. Oh, you know you want that. You can have a right nibble on that. Let's get you in. Oh. Go on, you can have it. Enjoy. That's dessert for you, mate. Don't be scared of the camera. Give you a show, girl. There you go. Can you see that? I've never seen this many mosquitoes. What is going on? You can see little blood spots. They're like the size of ants. I just looked down, I had four on my leg. Right, this is enough deer feeding for you. Wholesome fun activity. Oh, she's coming. Oh, she's really beautiful, this little one. You've just got to be careful because they are scared of you. Go on, you two share. You should be teaching your children how to share. Deer feeding finished. They've had a break from the Ramley Burgers today. It has some nice, fresh leaves. Ramley Burgers again next week. Wonder what the favourite is. I reckon the big daddy likes a double cambing oblong with extra sauce. What do you reckon? It's really, really cool in here. And all around on the wall we've got the eight steps of Buddha's progress with these incredibly beautiful pieces of art. Look at this. What a place. And one last thing, look at this. There's a helicopter blade on the roof. Biggest fan I've ever seen in my life. So we just got talking to a lady in here called Alina and she actually just taught us that what we ate today, backward tear means pork ribs, herbs, herbs and tea. Ah, so you learn something new every day. It all makes sense now because all the meat in the bowl was rib meat. Yeah, pork rib. Yeah, <laughs> and you pick, when you go in, you pick which tea you want. Yeah. They were like, oh. It all made sense. <laughs> We've just come to check out one more temple here in Jenjeram town. I'm just going to throw a few clips in to keep it quick. But I've just spotted something I have to tell you. We've got a Chinese restaurant here that has some really interesting stuff. We've got dried chili mantis shrimps rice. Everything looks really good, but I've just spotted something weird. Marmite chicken rice. Yep. Marmite chicken rice. What a strange sounding dish. I'd like to try that one there. Got an absolute Malaysian classic, the 100 plus. There we go, let's crack that open. Oh. There we go. Ice cold. Quite refreshing. And then Leisha's got a sour plum drink. Minuman Air Limau Dengan Asam Boy. Lime Asam Boy is really good. Calamansi. Sour lime is well good. It's good that. All right then people, we have officially hit the west coast of Malaysia, literally. Our first time. I have no idea where we are. Oh, and I've just nearly tripped over a weed. This is just like a random, this is not even a town, we're just in the countryside, but yeah. Let's see the sand, what's it like? It's actually quite soft, actually quite nice. So it's nice, it's Sunday, everyone's just chilling out with the families on the beach. You know what strange place, look. The water looks a bit brown, it's a bit murky. Got these trees in the sea, it's a bit strange, but what do you think? It's That's quite nice, isn't nice. it? I can hear an ice cream man, so yeah. I think. Can you hear him ringing the bell? Yeah. Maybe we should get one. Can't be an ice cream, please. Oh, Stand no, in. he's going. He's driving his bike away from us. We've missed him, he's gone. So yeah, everyone's just chilling out. Everyone's got coconuts. Let's just check the water, eh? People are going for a swim. Let's see. Yeah, it's like, this reminds me of Blackpool Sea. It's like that, that murky brown water. It's still quite refreshing though. It's quite warm actually. So yeah, what a weird place. 
look at this. So I think we're heading to a town called Tanjung Sepak. I have no idea. You're finding out as we're finding out. Right, so we've come to Tanjung Sepak, another little town here, pretty much on the coast of West Malaysia. It looks really cool. We've got a Chinese temple behind us. I think there's a beach here we're going to check out. Who knows? It's a good vibe though. The small towns in Malaysia are the best, honestly. Classic Chinese photo walk. Go on. Just bought these little lollies and they've come in the most ridiculous package ever. There's a full plastic bag on this. I can't even undo it with one hand. What? What the what? Right, finally we got the bag off. What is that? For this little thing, that's ridiculous. I got light tube player. Ah that, that nearly I bit down it and it's like super glued to my teeth. I'm gonna pull all my teeth out. That's dangerous. That. I can't eat that. That that pulls your teeth out that. I tell you what, right? Whoever invented this needs putting in prison, they need locking up, they need to be behind bars. That will just rip your fillings out. It'll rip your teeth out. Give that a kid, a baby. It's got no teeth. That is ridiculous. They need putting in prison. Not fit for human consumption, that. See you later. Next up, we've got traditional coconut candy from this area. Let's try this. See if we can get it out the wrapper. I'll try my best. Again, why are you finished all chewing? Am I just old now and I can't chew anything? Tastes really good, though. Oh, that's really good inside, super coconut, it's sweet. Bloody started to rain, hasn't it? It is now like we're at Blackpool. Bloody hell. So this is... Oh, I forgot the name of the town. I'm going to have to put it on the screen, but it's the pier. Tanjung Sepat, I can't remember. Quite nice, to be fair, on a sunny day. But it's, yeah, it's pissed. The heavens are just off, it's pissing it down. I'm going to have to knock it off. Oh. Shit, shit. This looks good. We've got a huge coconut each. Ice. Ice. All to put inside. Oh, go on, a little bit. Yeah, go on, why not? It's actually decent putting ice in the coconut. Look at the size of this. Oh, wow. Go on, Leash. Sip the nectar of life. Oh, that's good. Not too sour. Ice cream. Good. Yeah, really refreshing. And the rain stops. We're like a two minute shower. So the flesh in this coconut, as you can see, is super thick. Really thick flesh. And it's really good. It always is, isn't it? Always good. Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, okay. So this is Musan King ice cream, durian ice cream. And our mate over there says, original. He told us a hundred times, original, original. Oh, these, these aren't cheap, these are pricey. This is 13 ring. I'll try and get it out. Right, I just tried the ice cream, but the camera was off. So I'm gonna have to try it again for you all. There she is, the durian Musan King ice cream. I already know this is really good, but there we go. It's really good, I think it is original, the man's true to his word. It tastes mostly like durian, like, not like filler, some places it can be a bit crap, this is really good. Mm. 
I love doing it in this group. And Moose I think is the best. Rain's finally stopped, so we're gonna head to the end of the pier and just have a look at the views before we move on. Weather's well, looking nice now, blue sky. Not good today, is it? It's raining again. Bloody typical. We've come to the end. There's a few lads doing a bit of fishing. Setting up here on the end. The views are pretty good to be fair, look. There's the town. And yeah, it's really nice. The sea's nice and flat. It's actually quite nice. Show you this side as well while we're here. Yeah, look at that. Surprisingly, a nice little place here on Malaysia's west coast. A bit like the northwest coast of England, really. Similar. Right, we're back in Kale now. There is our home behind us. Now, because it's Sunday, everything around here is shut apart from the Indonesian spot across the road. So, we've got some food, and it actually looks really good. Now it seems in Kale, pretty much everyone is a foreign worker or Indonesian or whatever, which is why you really should get out and explore the smaller towns and cities and get the proper experience while you're here. Just saying. So this actually looks really good. I've got I am Geprek. Some sort of it looks like some sort of crazy breaded chicken fillet, doesn't it? And then we got the garlic chili sambal. That's so good. Rice and some fried tofu. And then Leash got I am Penyet. Mm -hmm. So it's like fried chicken smashed flat with a red sambal. Mm, it's like tomato with this sambal. It's not very spicy. It's good How is though. it? Oh, it is good. good. Mm. Mm, crispy tofu. So I have no idea how much this costs. We didn't even ask, but we'll see. We'll find out. And let's just give this a quick try then, eh? Let's try some of the chicken. It's, oh, it's extremely fresh. So I can. Oh, I can't even pick it up. Let's try that chicken, it does look really good. It's fresh, it's burning my fingers. Oh. It's really good to be fair. I'm gonna have to try the sambal because that looks fantastic. Everything's fresh and boiling hot. So yeah, a bit of sambal and rice. There we go. Mm, that's fantastic. It's really garlicky. Spicy. Mm. This is not bad at all. Let's just try the tofu. Oh, and we get a little soup. I don't even notice. Again, super hot and fresh. It's all done fresh, to be fair. You can't fault it. Look at that. Let's get that in the sambal. That'll be um. Oh, it's really good. That place, I've got to say, it was actually really delicious. That sambal was heavenly. So garlicky, so spicy. I've got a copy and a bag to take away. Absolute classic, iconic stuff. Let's try it, let's have a do on that. Oh, bloody hell. Go on, spin it back round. Always so good. Right, so we're gonna leave it there. We've had a really nice day, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Get out to the small towns, because Malaysia, there's so much potential to with places to explore, it's a really good country and we love it. We'll always be back, we've got so much to see. And huge thanks to B and Chong for taking us so kind. They've paid for everything, treated us all day. Hospitality is great, really nice people. So thank you and yeah, we'll leave it there. Cheers for watching, see you later.